The Bible says in the New Testament that we should earnestly desire spiritual gifts. You have shouted at times through the prophetic words and through prophets of the ages, but you've also spoken mysteries to my heart. You've spoken mysteries to the people listening to this, and that those mysteries need to be known and need to be, need to be made known. We can hear your voice speak like the thunder through the mountains. Still we hear you in the whispers to our hearts. your mysteries through the prophets of the ages still we hear you speaking mysteries to our hearts oh That song came straight out of Hosea. Uh, the verse says, A lion has roared, who will not fear? For the Lord God has spoken, who can but prophesy? And that's some heavy language. I mean, if you read that, I mean, uh, when the Lord speaks, I mean, it says surely that God does nothing without first revealing it to his prophets. When we hear your voice speak, God will tremble, yeah, we we'll respond. In your presence, God with reverence, we proclaim. The Bible says in the New Testament that we should earnestly desire spiritual gifts. The song Alana's has roared is basically that principle. Does God, I, you know, let me hear your voice. Let me speak what's on your heart. You know what I'm saying? Let me know your voice. I, I, I can hear you. You have shouted. Let me hear your voice. Let me speak your words, oh God. Let me hear your voice, for I desire to prophesy. Let me know your voice, make it loudest in my life. Let me know your voice, for I desire to prophesy. That's the goal of prophecy, is to, to bring edification, to bring exhortation, and to bring comfort. And that might come through a word of wisdom, it might come through a discernment of spirits, it might come through a word of knowledge, but it also might just come through saying, hey man, that not only is Jesus here for you, but the body of Christ, I'm here for you. Call me if you need something. Yeah.